what is up you guys, it's Katya Bulks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this recipe video, I know this is quite an awkward angle I know, it's just my best angle, but anyways we're gonna be making some red velvet chocolate chip cookies so I'm gonna do a voiceover of the recipe while you watch me put it all together so yes, and of course the recipe will be in the description box below so this is just kind of two recipes putting together because we're doing red velvet and chocolate chip cookies. I'm doing it for my best friend's birthday, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, my friends, so starting off with our vegan egg, of course, it just calls for one egg and you're gonna just mix that powder with two tablespoons of water. Of course, you can use a flax egg, chia egg, but I just had this available. I'll link down below this stuff as well for you guys so that you can purchase it online instead of having to go to the store. But of course, starting with all-purpose flour. I'm weighing it out because this recipe calls for one and a half cups plus a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. And since that seems so exact, it's 198 grams. So I find it easier just to weigh. But yeah, if you want to do it just by cups because you don't have a scale, then just make sure you're like scooping it but you're not packing it into the cup because just the little variances can make a difference in baking um, but then of course we're gonna add our cocoa powder because we gotta make this the ultimate chocolate like cookies ever so quarter cup of that which is 21 grams we're doing one teaspoon of baking soda as well as a quarter teaspoon of our salt and we want to whisk that all up just so it's well combined. You can always put it through a mesh if your flour tends to be clumpy. So yeah, put that aside because we're going to get a separate bowl and we're going to do our butter. But yeah, so I'm using this melt butter. They ran out of like regular stick butter at the store because I don't know, I guess everyone's apparently baking during quarantine. Um, so of course I'm going to be just weighing it because it's easier. But it calls for half a cup of unsalted butter which is also 115 grams so yep I'm just gonna weigh that out because that's easiest of course if you only have salted butter just don't do the quarter teaspoon of salt that was added earlier so we're gonna use our hand mixer or if you have a stand mixer and just you know mix it up <laughs> as anticipated until you know it's kind of like fluffy warmed up a bit and then we're gonna add our cane sugar, hell yeah. So we're gonna be doing half, no, a quarter cup of the granulated sugar. We've got our sugar and then we're gonna do some brown sugar. So this calls for three fourths cup. So we've got half a cup and a quarter cup because that's three fourths cups in baking math. Yeah. All right, Kai, take him on, hurry up. People wanna make their cookies. All right, there we go. Sweet, and then of course mix that all up like we did with the butter until it's just, you know, well combined. All right, after that's well combined, add our vegan egg right in there. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of whatever plant milk you got. I'm using Ripple, but almond milk works as well. We're gonna add one teaspoon of some vanilla extract. Oh, two teaspoons, you guys, two teaspoons. Of course, this is all gonna be in the description box for you guys. But yeah, then go ahead and use your hand mixer or stand mixer and blend it up. All right, time for the food coloring using this Watkins natural vegan whatever food coloring. Calls for a tablespoon. You'll see that I go a little shy with it because I was kind of nervous, but please do the tablespoon if you really want it to come out red. You'll see why later and I'll kind of explain. But anyways, I mean, you'll see the red come through here, but like once you add like the cocoa and all that stuff, it kind of covers it. So highly, highly recommend just being pretty liberal with the red food dye. Of course, if you want to be even more natural, you can do beet juice. Just probably don't do like the almond milk because it may make it a little watery. I don't know, never tried that. 
All right, so we're gonna add in our flour cocoa, you know, all just the dry ingredients pretty much in there and mix that up. Yeah, um, unless you have a sand mixer, don't do the hand mixer, I noticed. It got kind of messy, so you'll see right here, but I just switched to a paddle because that's just a lot easier. So yeah, do that. <laughs> All right, best part, the chocolate. So I did a mix of dark chocolate and semi-sweet, but pretty much with this recipe, it just calls for one cup of chocolate chip. So I grabbed like a cup measuring thing, and then I just like added a random amount of dark chocolates and a random amount of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, just to give a little variety in these cookies. Oh, also, I highly recommend this brand that I'm using. I don't know. I just, I like their chocolate. It's solid and, yeah, vegan, gluten-free, all those kind of fun stuff. So, that, I mean, that means it's, like, calorie-free, right? I mean, yeah, that's how cookies work. Okay, so mix it up, and then we're going to pop this in the fridge for an hour. One hour later. All right, it's been an hour. And we're getting two baking sheets ready because it produces quite an amount of cookies. But yeah, I used the tablespoon. If you have an ice cream scoop, that works a lot better to be honest. But I just didn't have one and I didn't feel like going to the store to go buy one. And you know, if I went on Amazon to buy one, it would have taken too long. So yes, I mean, you don't have to have an ice cream scoop. Just do it by hand, tablespoon or so. Of course, make it as big as you want because cookies are amazing and you can just yeah do whatever the heck you want with them oh don't forget to like preheat your oven because it should be at 350 degrees so yeah i'm gonna pop those babies right in there and then set a timer 11 to 12 minutes oh my goodness we got some cookies i let these ones cool down of course but <laughs> they lost the red color, but that's okay because they're probably gonna taste delicious anyways. So we're gonna try one because the rest go to my best friend and then some to my boyfriend. So I don't know anything about macros regarding these, but macros now count when it comes to cookies. So, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Mm-hmm. It's like a brownie. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yep. I'm gonna have to get rid of these. I'm gonna have to give them away because I will get fat off of these. <laughs> They're so good. I think it's like the best vegan cookie I've ever made. I wish it would have come out a little redder, but you know, it is what it is. And they still taste delicious, so it's so okay. But yeah, if you guys want to give this recipe a try, I will put down in the description all the ingredients and the steps to create them yourselves. If you do end up making them, take a picture and tag me in it because I want to see your creations. And so, yeah. If you enjoyed this video do give it a nice big thumbs up comment below what else you'd like for me to bake or create if you haven't already of course subscribe to the channel next I think we are gonna be doing a pre-workout review so stay tuned for that click that notification bell so you know when that comes out otherwise I'm gonna do my best to stay away from these cookies and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.